Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis, and welcome back to another episode of Flashing Lights. Sasquatch and I are back in MP on the new map, checking out the latest update. We are in the unstable branch because the actual update that came out was a bit buggy. So we decided to try out the hot fixes that they put out with the unstable branch. And uh, yeah, we're going to see just how bad it is. So I haven't done a, vi a video on this in a while. And that's because of just how buggy the most recent ones have been. But I figured we'll give it a try today and see what happens. You ready to go? Yep, I'm ready. You are all... All right, let's do it. So we got traffic back in here. We're going to have a lot of popcorn poppers. Uh, and we got pedestrians again. We got an armed robbery in progress. It's going to be uh, 20 at 3041, 3041, I'm going to be uh, responding that way, um, yeah, go three. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of popcorn poppers, so it is what it is on that. It's weird actually having uh, traffic on this map. Okay, we got we got the uh, tank top brothers at this location. Uh, looks like they're pointing firearms. If I could get if I could get back up. Yep, responded. Yeah, it looks like we got you know two tank top brothers here. I don't want to get too close. Up, oh, shots fired! Shots fired! They're firing at my vehicle. Dude. Get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Open the trunk. Gosh dang it. Yep, they're shooting at me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Go to mouse. I got one subject down. The other one's not shooting at me. I'm just holding him at gunpoint. I think he got the hand. Oh, it's up. Move it. If you want to move up past me, I'll cover you and see if we can get this guy in custody. If he starts shooting at you, I'll take him. I'll flank his uh, side. Got it. Yep, go ahead. I got you. I got you covered. 12 ounce slug from this distance. Put anybody down. Drop the gun. Oh. Drop it. Nope. Well, well, that's what happens. All right, moving up. Confirm two subjects down. All right. Let's go ahead and search the body. Found the weapon. Gonna go ahead and transport that one. Second, second person, interact, got the weapon, this other guy had alcohol on him, but you know, that's no big deal, right? All right, all right, we're code four. I had a feeling we weren't going to be able to get him uh, taken into custody nicey nice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Alrighty, so because we actually have traffic on the map, uh, I am going to try and actually do a pullover. Try to do a traffic stop here. Just need to find the next lawbreaker. I guess I'm responding to a shoplifting on accident. Whoops. Okay. Responding. Never mind on the traffic stop. Uh, I'll be responding code two ish. Uh, 
Uh, location for this one's going to be 1643, 1643 on the other side of the map. I'm going to be on scene here. I got someone standing out front, possibly a shop owner. Ah, still have my shotgun. Ah, that's all right. Probably use it again by the end of this episode. Hello, ma'am. What do you got? All right, so we're looking for a black male, blue jeans, pink shirt, uh, bald head. Okay, got you. Should be in should be in the area, theoretically. Don't know where he would have gotten to, but he should theoretically be in the area. I'm going to search down here by uh, the riverfront if you want to head towards downtown area. We'll see if I can find him in this area. Probably not. You know what he looks like, but... Is he running already, do you know, or is he waiting for Yeah, because if he's running already, that's going to be an issue, too. Okay, I don't think he's down in this area. I'm going to flip back around and head the other way towards the firehouse. Oh, I got him. Got him? Oh, yep, got him. Alright, in route. He's running. Copy that. I'm he's coming. It's gonna, it's Put gonna. Two, two, four, five. Got it, it's gonna take a second for me to get there, but. I'd have come up around. If I would have just stayed down there, I would have been all right. Copy. Got him. Oh, pulling some jank stuff. Coming in hot. Hey, taser, dude. Taser. <laughs> oh, nice. Switching I... to lethal. Yep, I got my gunpoint. Go ahead, I got you. You found them. I'll return the items. You can go ahead and book them. Nice. All right. Actually, there's a couple new booking places. Maybe I should take them. What do you think? Yeah, if you want to. All right. Yeah, we don't have to take them in through the front anymore. Or can I not interact with them? If you just want to stuff them in my car, I'll take it back to your car. Yeah. Popped in the back of home, so you don't try any funny stuff. Things how we don't have freaking cages. Get the chief on top of that, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Another crown, Vic. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let you book them, but I'll follow you in so we can show them. Where's your car at? Uh, it's up this way. Is it by the PD or. Oh, uh, um, I think it's my car on. I don't see it, so. It should be up here somewhere. Straight ahead. Yeah. I think I lost my fear. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Yeah, well, you know, you did jump out of foot pursuit, so I saw you running down this way. Man, I don't know where your car's at. Not even see it on the mini map. Hmm, weird. Well, uh, we'll recon order for it later. We'll, uh, book this guy and then go get it. Yeah. Alright, so, one of the new things they did add, which I'm appreciative. You know, I'm gonna be that guy and just pull up here. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me, right? Yeah. Alright, so basically the new thing here is what we can do. I got the door if you want to get him. <laughs> 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 oh, and I'm also going to put my shotgun away. Did you uh, get the items from him? Yeah, I got the items from him. Got him. Yeah, we'll go back and see the uh, complainant. I'll get the door if you just want to take him. Yeah, well, I'm going down and up. Oh, well, yeah, I parked a little too far. My bad. I'll I'll cor I'll correct my mistake. I I'm sorry. Okay, that that was slightly obnoxious. <laughs> Ramps not made for cars. No, it's made for people with wheelchairs. Oh, well, there's no sign. <laughs> Fine, I'll, I'll I'll park in a parking space. Are you happy? <laughs> yes. Don't don't report me to the chief, okay? okay? All right. So anyway, so basically we can. Uh, take them in and there's a couple locations we can go we can either go downstairs or right here to the booking window you want to take them downstairs to the holding cells yeah we'll take them down yeah we'll do this one going downstairs so basically um you can't call transport yet can you no i don't think so okay all right so basically these are the interview rooms all that jazz we got the we can put them in here for a picture and take his you know picture and all that jazz probably get it worked later booking will take care of that but for our purposes we'll bring him down to the jailer and we can register him right here and then he'll go to a holding cell oh man you had the worst parents ever calling you who but dave at this <laughs> whatever works Alrighty, so yeah, that's uh, that's here. Um, I was talking to Sasquatch earlier about these doors, how I wish they would put in a command where you could open and close them, because this is kind of annoying. All these doors that have these locks on them are supposed to be secured at all times, and they're obviously not. So anyway, yeah, we're going to go uh, search for Sasquatch's car now. Hopefully we can find it, <laughs> and uh, we'll be back with hey, another call. Back. Oh, I ran into a thing. That's my um, go-to when driving. I always find the nearest fence and drive into it. Ah, uh, she just gives me CCTV. I can't interact with her. Do you have to interact with her? You might have to come down here and give her back the stuff. Because all it's showing me is CCTV. Because you took the items, right? Yeah, I took them. Alright, well... I guess that's all you then. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this guy walking. I'm going to go talk to this guy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir, 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 sir. Have you been drinking today? Robert, Robin Cross. You look a little uneasy on your feet. Are you drunk in public, man? Is that what's going on here? You, uh, can I think of legal on you? Um, I'm ch checking you. Oh, he's just got an ID card. All right, you want to you wanna watch this guy while I run? Oh, hey, 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 Buddy. Dude. Okay, now that you're getting all jumpy on me, now I'm going to put you in cuffs. Okay? Watch him. I'm going to run his information. I was just going to give him a warning, but he wants to try to walk away from me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to the inside view and pull up our CAD here. Not the CAD, the database. A lot of fill the details. And I can't see crap, so we're going to go out to the other view. 
Um, he has a very clean record. I hate to do this to him, but, I mean, he is drunk in public, and he did try to walk away from me, so... We're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and, uh... Yeah. I'm just gonna alcohol test him. He's not driving. There's no level for drunk in public, but... I'm just gonna alcohol test him. For the records. Let's see what it says. Blood alcohol content. He is two times the legal limit. If he was driving. Ah, right, bud. Yeah, you're way too drunk to be on the street. So, what would normally happen in this situation is... You really wouldn't take him to jail, which I'm going to have to take him to jail to process him. In this situation, I would honestly drop him off at the hospital until he sobered up. Because not a lot of jails anymore, which I find kind of weird, but a lot of jails don't do, um, what do you call it, uh, drunk tanks. Drunk tanks are becoming a thing of the past because there's too much liability having an intoxicated individual in a jail cell. So in my area anyway, everybody drops off everybody at the hospital. But knowing, knowing that it's flashing lights and it's not extremely realistic, I guarantee if I drop this guy off at booking, they won't question me. And I have to go around because these roads suck. And I'm putting on my lights because I don't want to stop. I don't know if I'll ever get my traffic stop. Another shoplifting call. No, I don't want to take shoplifting call. I already did that. Alright, back at the precinct here. Go ahead and get out. Alright, Miss Cross, come out of the vehicle. Yep, come on, drunk guy, let's go. Alright, so you can take him down to the jail cell, or you can just bring him in, which I don't mind that either. Mr. Cross has been registered, and we are moving on this white van. He is a little unstable. Let's see how it goes here. Okay, use the turn signal. Does he go through the red light? No, but he's driving weird. All right, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be pulling over this vehicle, possible uh, drunk driving, okay? I'm gonna be at uh, 1846. Okay. We got uh, registration suspended. Uh, insurance has expired on the van. It's going to be Delta 9194 Romeo. We're going to be at 1846. I'm going to be out with one. All right, well, let's uh, see what else comes back on this. It's coming back to Hugo Brooks. Hugo Brooks. Hugo Brooks is valid, 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 valid. Okay, so he's just going to get a lot of tickets. Possibly intoxicated, we'll see. That's the reason pulling him over. He's driving a little unsteady. So we're going to go ahead and uh, speak with the driver, see what the deal is. Go ahead and shut our door. Hello, sir. I'm um, uh, Officer Taylor with the unnamed Island City PD. The reason why I pulled you over today is because you're a little all over the road. Uh, license registration. Hugo Brooks. All right, thank you. Man, what's with the uh, suspended registration on the vehicle? What, what's what, what's that about? Can't ask him anything, but I'm going to test him. Give him an alcohol test. Have you been drinking driving? Oh, he has. does have a little alcohol system. All right. 
Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Alright, Mr. Brooks. You got uh, anything on you can poke me pick? Sick me, piss me off in any way? Look a little uneasy there, man. You're under the limit, but I, I don't feel that uh, you are safe to drive, so at this time I am placing you uh, under arrest for driving under the influence, which people don't know that. You can actually get arrested for uh, driving under the influence, even if you're under the limit. He was all over the road and unsteady on his feet, so I'm going to go and put him there. And uh, crossing toe, insta toe, gotta love it. So yeah, there we go, we got a traffic stop. All right, Mr. Hugo Brooks is gonna come back to the station with myself. And I'm just gonna J-turn this because I can. And uh, he's gonna get booked in, but everybody, I believe that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And, of course, we shall see you on the next one. Sasquatch, thanks for coming out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.